I'm Zach and this is Fiora and together we're taking on the North Coast 500 in this Scout, our trusty Land Rover Defender. Over the next two weeks, we're going to be exploring all that the Highlands have to offer following the infamous NC500 route and being sure to take some detours along the way. So join us on an epic road trip across the most northerly point of Scotland, from epic mountain passes to jaw-dropping locks and oceans. This is the North Coast 500. Our journey starts from our home in the Peak District with a 400 mile drive ahead of us to reach our target of Inverness, the true start of the North Coast 500. It's from here that we'll join the official route and begin our 500 mile adventure around the coast of Scotland. Now before we could even make it to the starting line and after almost a day on the road, we thought we would spend an evening in the Cairngorms National Park before making the last leg towards Inverness. After a bit more exploring, we found ourselves at the Lynn of Dee, a preferred picnic spot of Queen Victoria where the cascading waterfalls gave us a taste of the epic things to come. We pitched up our home on wheels for the evening and we called it a night, ready for the adventures in the morning. So there we have it, that is the end of effectively day one. Tomorrow starts the proper NC500 route, so really exciting. We'll see you in the morning. In true Scottish style, we awoke to a wet and windy day, but we were eager to get on the road to get towards Inverness. But we had one quick stop to make along the way, and that was to Loch Ness. It was so close, it was basically en route, so of course we had to take a quick stop, grab a paddleboard and go for a little explore on the loch. Still shivering, it was time to jump in Scout and travel a short journey into Inverness to kick off the NC500. Now we've kicked off the trip, let's take a look at the route. We planned to do the North Coast 500 anti-clockwise, meaning that we'd head from Inverness up the east coast towards John O'Groats, the most northerly point. From there, we would then head west across the top of Scotland, taking in spots like Thurso, Tongue and Durness, before heading south down the west coast through Carlscrew, Loch Iver, Ullapool and Gareloch, before ultimately heading back towards Inverness. Now officially on the North Coast 500 route, we headed to our first stop, which was a little campsite just outside Rose Markey, with a stunning picture right on the shorefront, a perfect spot for an area famed for dolphin spotting. We headed to bed with high hopes of catching a glimpse of the dolphins in the morning. Mm -hmm. 
Excited by the opportunity of spotting dolphins, we got up early and paddled out to try and catch a glimpse. Now paddleboarding comes more naturally to some than others. <laughs> and with that, we headed further on north, deciding to hug the coastline up and using the ferry at Cromarty to take us over towards Nig and then further on to Dornoch where we would spend the evening. Scout's first trip on a ferry. I saw me in your problem. After a short hop on the ferry, it was full steam towards Dornoch, where we had got our hearts set on a small camp pitch on the side of a lock that our friends had recommended to us. And what a location it was. We pitched up right on the edge of the lock and settled in for what would turn out to be the most stunning sunset ever. Morning guys, it's uh, day two at the uh, NC500. We've just stayed an amazing camp spot just outside of um, Dornoch. You can see the scout is all parked up here. Um, such a great location, there's even like a little fire pit down here. Um, today we continue up to Dunbeath. Um, again, the, the views and everything has just been so amazing um, and the gate spots like this. So, feeling very lucky right now and uh, looking forward to another exciting day. <laughs> nice! After that very cold morning swim, we continued our journey up the east coast towards John Oak Roads. We had several stops on this drive, taking in Dunrobin Castle, Castle Sinclair just north of Wick and up towards the rock formations of Duncan's Bee Head. It was then over to one of the milestones on our trip John O'Groats, the most northern point of Great Britain. We of course had to take in an obligatory selfie. We had set our hearts on a wild camping spot that we had seen just outside Dunnet Head, so we headed towards that campsite for an amazing park up once again. And that brings to an end part one of our North Coast 500 adventure. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, it's something slightly different to the channel and we'll be back with part two soon where we continue across the northern top of Scotland and down through the west coast where there's plenty more amazing wild camping locations and adventures to be had. We'll see you in the next one.